viewers we thank you for taking time and coming before the tv screen today we are in the studio of juda tv with the pastor sudeep from vision church nepali church bangalore and this is the time that you have prepared to come lord this is the day that lord has made we thank you a lot for this time i would like to just give thanks for this program when the our pastor today going to sing this nepali song it should be glorify your name and his ministry may be extended and lord we pray for the uh, this 2018 years we continue with blessed years especially the the juda tv that they have this heart of giving the platform for the people to do the media ministry continue bless bless this program in jesus name amen Oh 
like to say something uh, today, uh, just a few words. Thank you, Pastor Sudhay. Hello, dear viewer. Once again, uh, your brother, Dr. Fazal Sheikh, has brought these programs of this interview on the behalf of Judah TV. Uh, Pastor Sudhay from the Vision Church, Bangalore, Nepali Church, he is in our midst. I would like to welcome him warmly. And also, I would like to wish you this 2018 New Year. I hope that this year is going to be bring the many more blessings in your life. So, Pastor Sudeh, uh, really happy, are happy to have you in the Judah TV uh, studio. Now, can you tell me a little about your uh, childhood and uh, how you have come to the Christ? So actually, uh, thank you so much for once more this privilege, Pastor uh, Dr. Fawzal Sheikh. Uh, so when I was in 1996, we accepted Jesus Christ whole mm. family. My father was a priest, Hindu priest, and he was a worship the God, but he was a priest, but still then he could not able to heal himself. So he was looking for somebody who can heal him completely. And finally we got encounter with the God. Uh, there's a true lady came to share the gospel to my dad and and because of their small prayer uh, my dad got healed and we accepted uh, Christ in 1996 so uh, from that day onwards uh, we started following to Jesus but because when we accept our society our all the families they kick out from our society because of you accept that that uh, very like a uh, uh, poor God you are worshipping you are worshipping like a uh, as uh, like a uh, uh, outside religion so because of that reason many people they against us because we was a uh, uh, christian a very first christian in our place mm. and because of that uh, incident we we was going through the very situation bad situation but still then we are following jesus christ one pastor help us they come all the way from very far place they come to our place and they he started giving a fellowship to us and he was, uh, in, when I was a child, I mean like young, I, 13 years old, 12 years old, and we suffered like anything. Our relative and our, our uh, cousins, uncles and aunt, they try to uh, persecute us Lord and Lord, but still then we are uh, focusing to follow to Jesus Christ. Thank God for that, that God has given the, such faith to your family. Amen. But I would like to just say brief little about, you know, uh, your childhood. Yes. and also culture yes. you know uh, language and culture where it belongs yes. so my culture is like a nepali culture i mm. grew up in a nepali culture and uh, my culture is very traditional mm. because my where i was uh, my village uh -huh. people i know like uh, my place hometown the people was very like a uh, narrow-minded those days mm. and when we uh, uh, worship the jesus christ uh, they come and they blame always mm. and sometimes we face that things also when we are one day we are worshipping mm. the people they throw the stone in our mm. uh, in our roof huh. to disturb us huh. but still our culture was that those days huh. uh, like that they persecuted us lord mm. and lord but when you walk in the christ when you starting praying mm. to god mm. and that, those days my friend was mm. not too good because almost friend they smoke and drink mm. you know alcoholism and mm. they try to affect me, they try to spoil me and they, mm. many times they call me mm. to come have you know like a smoke, like a tobacco, all those things mm. you know but I was a really, really fear to God you know I was a very uh, scared with the God oh, to man. do wrong things mm. so because of that you know and also God helped me a lot those mm. days because my friend was too bad you know some of the friends too bad mm. they want to do like a uh, smoke and they want to fight the people mm. they want to uh, beat people, they want to steal the things 
but because of God's grace, you know, I didn't follow them, but I was very you know, fear to God and scared to do the wrong things. So because of that, God protect me and I was walking with God. I started walking with God, but when I was child, I decided that I want to worship the God. I want to serve the God. Hmm. So, uh, the suffering which after coming to Christ, uh, can you tell me that any tragedy taken place when you all came because it's a very difficult uh, Nepali yes, yes. Uh, family yes, sir. or ne ma Nepali man yes. to come to the Christ yes, very true. Right. to many reasons yes, sir. especially the religious and yes, traditional sir. reason uh, the customs yes. uh, they never Nepalis easily cannot believe in Jesus yes, Christ yes. so uh, you saved your family through your parents yes still parents are practicing the same faith? Yes, yes same faith. They are actually, my dad is now a church elder huh. and he's running the church. Huh. He take care of the church. Uh, he's a priest. He's a good preacher. He's a good, wonderful man of God. Uh, he preach. But those days, I just want to, can I share that about that? How we uh, face the things? Hmm. It's okay? So when we accept the Jesus Christ, my all the relatives, especially my own, huh. uh, like uh, elder, uh, my dad, elder brother, he persecutes us. Mm. I could not able, he don't mm. give chance for to worship the mm. Jesus and they didn't supply the, our waters. Mm. We have uh, waters from for the village, whole mm. village, but mm. my uh, uncle came mm. and he don't allow us to drink water. Mm -hmm. And not only that... It's do, sad, right? Yeah. And when not only that, when we are studying or when we took bath, when we are walking the, in the village, the people they will not accepted us mm. because they they, they 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 blame us that they are starting worship the mm. outside religion like a foreign no. country's God. Oh, 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 oh. So this is they are not worshiping. <laughs> this is very the, common, you know, yeah. Yeah, they are not worshiping the our oh, God, oh. but they are worshiping the. Foreign. What God you were worshiping? Like you uh, all. There is a, there is a three thousand three crores God. Mm. So we worship all. all. Some of the name we know like thirty three uh, crores. Yeah, there is a, in in our culture like in Hinduism yeah. we believe that you know. Like we have so you come from the Hindu yes, uh, Nepalese, exactly. yes. uh, not Buddhist. Yes, yes. We okay. exactly pure Hindu. Mm. My uh, dad was a uh, like a priest in the mm. Hindus, mm. but uh, you know, we have very traditional Hindus. Mm. My dad, he was a uh, he, he worshipped the Lord and mm. Lord and Lord. But when my dad faced the things, could not able the thirty three crores God could mm. not able to save him. There is a one God who saved our life, that is Jesus. He only but saved us and because of his, uh, he saved us, that's why you come to know the Jesus now. Amen. And now we are serving very faithfully Amen. the Jesus. Okay, today. how you, why you chosen the ministry? Because what was the vision in your life? How you came to, you know, do the ministry? I actually... It's a very important because most of the young now today not, uh, you know, interested in the ministry. But uh, strange yes. that young, so why you decided to do the ministry? Uh, because uh, it's very uh, for me it's a very simple because huh. there is a when I came Bangalore 19 I mean 2017 mm. I came here and I saw the young pistol the young young star like a young boys and girls they, I saw the many people they spoil their life mm. some people their alcoholism they mm. started drinking and you know like uh, they drugs addicts uh, mm. some they are you know like a smoker and they are not faithful mm. so when I saw that I had a burden that you know no 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 if I also uh, do the some other work who will save them mm. so I had a challenge in my heart in 19, uh, 2017 uh, I came in Bangalore mm. so I thought when I saw the many young people's Nepalis mm. and some mm. other culture people mm. I saw they are spoiling their life mm -hmm. and God put me to burden it's not about that I want to do it but mm. God has a vision for me God has a plan for me mm. in 2017 I come mm. to know that and you know I came then when I saw that, that thing situations so. and I started thinking Lord I want to serve you. I want to the worship you. I want to save the people. That time I was working the hotel mm. and I was uh, as a I was a waiter in the hotel. Oh. I was serving <laughs> the food, you know. Uh. But those days, you know, I just pray, Lord, I want to serve you. But how can I serve you? Uh. Then later on, I come to know. These days, I come to know. I was those days. I was a waiter. I was serving the like a mm. like a, uh, like a physical food. Mm. Now God told me that still you're going to be waiter, mm. but you will serve the fish, uh, spiritual food. Mm. That's from the word of God. Amen. Amen. That was the situation, and I was chose. I chose the worship. Uh, any God. anything uh, revelation from the word of God that you remember to have any words from Bible? 
yes, I want to show that, you know, God strongly spoke with me that very strong word. One day, you know, I was working in a hotel. Many people, they criticized me when mm. I read the Bible. Mm. They, they, they told me that I was a very young. Those uh-huh. days, I was nine, I mean, 17 years uh-huh. old. I was in Bangalore. You're very young. Yeah, uh-huh. very young. And when I read the Bible, mm. though, those people, you know, they criticized me. And not only that, they told me, hey, you're going to pastor, summa fellow, disturbing us. Mm. You want to become a good person, mm. and they don't. They always disrupt me, disrupt mm. me. But I never stop the reading mm. Bible. No man. I never stop the uh, praying. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Huh. So that prayer really bold me to you know to, to become example among themselves. That's right. It's a wonderful. Uh, you know the. Uh, can you tell me the differences between nowadays these people's children and then your childhood? Any differences you find yes, or yes. among the youths, yes. you know, today youths, you know, yes. any differences? Yes, Pastor, this is a very important question. I found, you know, I, this is a very important question for me uh, because those children, those in our times, you know, mm. like when I was 13 years, 15 years old, mm. uh, those days, uh, there is a, we grew up as such a family mm. that, you know, there's those days, there's no technology at all. Oh. There's no technology, so when we play, we play like a simple, uh, mm. like our, because their background was like that, mm. their situation was like that, there's no cell phone mm. in our culture, in our place, you know. Yes. So we play like a normally, mm. and we suffer the things, you know. Mm. We had our own agenda, we can say that when the childhood, mm. you know, we play like a normally. Mm. But this, the, and this generation, yeah, this generation, smart. they have all the technology. Mm. They're thinking, you know, though they think, you know, mm. they're very big and they they know the, almost like a world mm. how to use the uh, like internet and all. Mm. But in our time, there is uh, no internet, mm. and we just whatever the parents they taught us, mm. whatever our teacher they taught mm. us, we learn from school and you know, mm. like college we mm. learn like that mm. only. But now, mm. people, children they know advanced before mm. the teacher and mothers they taught mm. them, before them, before only they come to know that. So that's the I found. Wow, wonderful, yes. wonderful. Uh, what is your vision now? Now my vision in is in the that ministry. Of course, God has already placed you with as a pastor yes. in the Vision Church here. But what is your vision? You know, next what you are going to do now in 2018? I hope that you have some resolution. Exactly. So uh, I had a vision, very big vision, you know, mm. pastor, and I want to. I want to share the word for the entire the world, huh. especially the Nepalis, you know, mm. I had a vision for them. What is the number of, uh, can you tell me that the approximate Nepalis in the South India, especially in Karnataka? Especially Karnataka, maybe probably 8 lakhs, mm. 8 lakhs to 10 lakhs between the Nepalese people that are staying in the Bangalore mm. cities. Mm. But we could not able to reach out to them. Mm. You know, if you see in the church, we have a Nepali mm. church, we are mm. in the 13th church in the Bangalore cities. Mm. But in Christianity, we see those people regularly come to church. Mm. If we see all together, mm. like uh, not only mm. uh, 1500, also not there. Mm. If we see all Nepalis, mm. true believers, mm. all the rest of the people, they are, mm. you know, they, do, they are other mm. faith and some believers, they are Christian, but still mm. they don't go to church. Mm. So I had a plan, I had a vision that I want to reach out to them. Right. Though I could not able to re- mm. uh, no, go face to face, but mm. I want to share the gospel to, mm. through media, mm. through the Judah TV. That's mm. why I really want to say thank to Judah TV and as <laughs> well as uh, Pastor Fazal. Mm. Thank God for this, your vision. I think uh, when I, the 32 years ago, when I started a ministry, uh, in 1984, I'm talking about. So one reason was um, to have a Nepali people also by looking them. Yeah, wow. 84, I'm 84, talking about. Wow. And it was very hard to meet the Nepalis. Of course, they were in the as a Gorkha. Yes. They go to security guard oh and work, you know, as a you know, to night time as a watchman. Wow. <laughs> so I start searching in the city of the Bangalore. Oh my God. <laughs> Myself. So I remember, yeah, I'm at 24, I'm, at four, I'm yeah. talking about. Because the God gave the good place. So I was keeping on hall. So I has had the desire of to reaching to diaspora people. Diaspora wow. means the people who come from outside of the South India or Bangalore, Karnataka to stay and uh, to, to, to guide them and nurture them and give them gospel. Like a 
Nepali, like a Bhutanese, or like a peoples from the North East India, North India, and the Central India. All, all these things I was in my mind those days. So it was a diaspora. Of course, I'm especially uh, was a missionary to reach the Muslims. But all this burden came to me because by looking the people's their pathetic condition. Yes. So the Nepali was one among them. Yes, yes. So I will, people said that I'm the first man to bring the Nepali together, wow. first fellowship. Wow. But now you have said that ten more than uh, eight to ten lakhs yeah. Nepalis and then and then um, peoples are there and churches are thirteen churches, Nepali churches. So you have this a uh, uh, special burden for them. Thank you, uh, uh, Pastor Sude. Uh, may God bless you. Our year uh, experience uh, in the ministry and uh, life. Do you think that this ministry experience uh, is going to be really helpful to you, uh, the people, those who are just uh, still neglecting the gospel among the Nepali community? Yes, like, uh, How you are going to put an impact of your experience? Yes. First, first of all, I had a, you know, I want to, I want actually, of course God also want that, mm. I want to become an example of the people, wow. especially among the youngsters. Mm. Because uh, the Mother Teresa, I like his statement, you know, mm. there's, she told, mm. she says that uh, it's very easy to give example to others, mm. but it's very hard to become an example. example. So I want to Wonderful. become, yeah, I want Wonderful to become life. an example among the youth, among yeah. the young people. Then only when I share that the word will be effective for them. So that is my desire. And when I'm example, so definitely one day people they follow, uh, follow us and they will know that Jesus Christ. I would like to just know that any sacrifice, the first sacrifice you have did after coming to Christ, exactly. which is, uh, I think I would like to just, our viewers should know that. Yes. What the sacrifice, of course there are sacrifices, but the major sacrifice which is going to really help the people in the Christian life, would you like to share with us? Yes, yes, Pastor. There's a big sacrifice, you know, uh, I want to share with you mm. today. Uh, first of all, when I came in the Bangalore cities, yeah. uh, and I started working with the God, and after so I studied here oh. in Bangalore oh. city for oh. two years course, and after that I went to Nagaland. Uh, I did the three Bible Bible course. Three Bible course. Two years diploma. Yeah, diploma. Okay. And now you are deciding to go yeah. further. Yes. You know to complete your exactly. master's degree exactly. exactly. program. Now I'm planning, I'm studying, you know, like a master that I want to do. I want to study more. I want to know more and more about God. So I went back to Nagaland and uh, 2003 years I did ministry. And after that, 2014, I came back here. So I was, I was thinking, I want to serve God, but there's no money at all. There is one uh, uh, institute they provide for me the job. They are paying, they are ready to pay for me 30,000, those 2014. They are ready to pay for me 30,000. 30, so till today maybe I'll get that one lakh above salary. Mm. But and another those days, you know, about 2014. Mm. So in 2014 I got the, this vision church ministry. I have to serve God, but without salary. Mm. There is a big choice for me, you know, mm. whether you go for the secular work mm. that you'll pay, they will pay the uh -huh. 30,000. Mm. If I join ministry, there is no paying. There is no mm. salary at all. Mm. So which one you want the choice? Hmm. That was a big, uh, you know, uh, this big comparison, challenge. Com challenge, comparison come to my mind. Hmm. So what should I choose? Hmm. Whether I go for the worldly work, hmm. 30,000, hmm. or without money, I serve the law. Hmm. Then finally I pray and pray and pray. After hmm. three days, I took the fasting and I realized that no, I have to serve God. I have to serve God, whether I get money or not, hmm. without money, Pastor, whether you believe or not. In Bangalore city, I'm staying without money, I started serving God. Wonderful. Suffer Lord and Lord and Lord. These days, you know, God, by the grace of God, He provide my needs. He'll provide my all. He supply my all. Um, Amen. Needs. Amen. Amen. What is missing now today in the world? Uh, today, Your experience. according to my example, Pastor, if all the Christians become a good example mm. for the world, the world will accept the Jesus. I mean that uh, love of God exactly. or love of Christ? Yes, love of God. No? To become model? Yes, model. Okay. As a, because there are many Christians, they are, uh. 
but everybody they are not you know like a, uh, uh, they are not good example for uh, the non believers especially uh, we can uh, say that you know uh, that every uh, believers when they become an example good example uh, that no need to share the gospel because of their lifestyle only that speak. they will come to know the Jesus Christ that's right but because of they don't is uh, living a good standard christianity they don't show the love of god to the, their neighbor so i i found that this is a missing you know the mm-hmm. christianity missing that their example in to others but example of christ right example okay um as a christian uh, you are like to say something to your community now towards to say uh, nepali communities especially the 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 uh, part Uh, in the world today Krish, how christian can become uh, as you say the yes, model yes, yes, okay yes. to part in the world to pass on the gospel yes. so like to say few few, few words to the how, our nepali communities yes, how to become example uh-huh, to example to yes. that just one, yeah. one first of all i five, yeah i second yes. i just want to say that you know with good work hmm. with good talk hmm. because many times as a christian we are very good in the inside the church hmm. Hmm. we are very uh, holy holy hmm. but outside the church there is no more holy That's monday right. to saturday there is no more holy hmm. but even though our duty time in our work time we fight with our own friends hmm. good friends hmm. because our attitude so i just want to uh, tell them you know when they uh, be example in their workplace hmm. that uh, that examples can change their friend circle their friends Amen. and their friends attitude Amen So I want to tell our people that you know wherever you work not only inside the church but Monday to Saturdays when you are working in the workplace big example show the Christ love in the, your friends in your companies in your your honor and respect to each other that will be the great change. and unite together yeah. unite will be there It, when they unite you want you others. all the our nepali brothers and yes. sisters to unite together unite together union has power exactly exactly right. so when they unite when they show their so example, this is the message in 2018 exactly pastor. to the people yes exactly okay. i would just want to tell them you know big example wherever you walk but love with each other respect each other and mingle with each other and that really that things will help the everyone and because of that you know example can change uh, all the nepali societies amen, amen. amen. thank you thank, thank you, you pastor so thank you so for much. this nice time that thank you have you given so that much. may god bless you amen dear viewer once again happy new year amen i'm so glad to you dr fazul sheikh and thank you so much